Hello everyone, today we will test my robotic arm. We will check the precision, speed and payload. Let's get started. Precision is first and precision is defined by two values. By the accuracy of the robotic arm and by the repeatability of the robotic arm. And here there is a four examples of the good accuracy, good repeatability, bad accuracy, good repeatability, bad repeatability, good accuracy and bad repeatability, bad uh, accuracy. So the red dot, as you understand, is your desired position and the black dots is uh, the position where your robotic arm is actually go. So what is important that for the robotic arm it's important to have the good repeatability because if your repeatability is good but the accuracy is bad you can always recalibrate your robotic arm and uh, make the good accuracy. But if you have the better repeatability it means that your hardware is bad and uh, you cannot do much about this. So let's check the repeatability of our robot. Here is the first repeatability test. We will see how precise our arm. So this is the start procedure and now it's gonna push the button. So it was 82. No, it was 88, now it was 82. and 78 so we can conclude the precision of our robotic arm is around 0.1 millimeter which is really nice and this is second precision test this is a really nice move twenty two Twenty two and twenty three or twenty two and a half. So this is like super precise around the zero point zero one or zero point zero two millimeter, which is incredible. And now the sort precision test for the Y axis. The first attempt 0 0.3 The second attempt Again 29 And the third attempt 29 again so on this y-axis we have also incredible precision of uh, 0 0.01 millimeter, which is really outstanding, which much better than I expected. For the speed test, robot will move uh, 10 centimeters in each direction and we will time this. This is speed test number one. Go. And here's the result. So uh, it needs approximately 4.5 uh, uh, seconds to move uh, to move 10 centimeters. So this is a test number two where I double the speed from the previous test. Let's see how it behaves.
so as you can see the time which it takes for robot now is uh, almost two times uh, less it's around 2.3 uh, seconds and this is uh, next experiment with the speed which is four times higher than the initial speed let's see how it performs Now we must stop. Ah, it skips steps. This speed is too much. No, no, does not work. And this is another speed test with the speed equals to three times initial speed. So this is the result and as you can see in average to move 10 centimeters it needs 1.7 or 1.6 uh, second. And now is the test of the payload. So I have uh, two motors. One motor weight of the first motor is 109 grams. Weight of the second motor is uh, 222 grams. So we're gonna test the payload with these two motors. So let's start with the smallest one. So it seems like this motor it can handle uh, quite easily. Yeah, it works. It struggles a little bit here, but still okay. And here is the second payload test. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> the muggings are not strong enough to hold this. I think this is kind of limit. It's definitely a limit of the magnets, but also the limit of the motors. This motor, the fifth axis, skips a little bit, just a little bit. So I think we can conclude that it can support some weight in between of these two. So maybe 150 grams approximately. And conclusion. So we measured precision, speed and payload. And in the precision we didn't measure accuracy. It's not interesting and complicated, but we measure repeatability. And repeatability was really nice. So on the z-axis it was only 0.1 millimeter. On y and x-axis it was even smaller. It was 0.02 millimeters. So in total precision, I would say it's around 0.1 millimeter, which is super good. And for the speed test, we did a couple of uh, tests and we find out that the maximum speed is approximately, approximately 6 centimeters per second. 
with the payload it was some problem with the magnets on the end effector because these magnets are not very strong so i was able to test uh, quite good uh, 110 grams and it was okay but with 22 grams magnet fails and probably fifth x is skipping it this was difficult to say as the magnet fails so i would say that this uh, robotic arm is good for the weight of around 150 to 200 grams which is still okay it's not a lot but uh, this was uh, i were expecting for this robotic arm so please share this video subscribe uh, like etc etc see you next time